Pwn Tone here, and welcome to part three of my Resident Evil 2 walkthrough. Last time we ended with um, putting out the fire in that helicopter, and now you can go next to it and pick up some handgun bullets. Now we're done with this area. Okay, hightail your ass out of here again. Try not to get pecked by any crows. But, yeah, we're gonna go in this door first and get a herb right here. We're gonna come back here in a second. And use that herb since I'm on caution. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the room near that helicopter. Since it's not on fire anymore, we have access to it. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Alright, now you're gonna need your two um, red jewels over here. You got to place them on each of the statue's bosoms. For some reason, the red jewels are clear. That's another emulator problem. But by doing that, opens the armor of the knight. And inside is the king plug. Take it and also get this key. It's the diamond key. Once you identify it, which we will right now. There's also, I believe, shotgun shells in here. They're kind of hidden, but I couldn't find them. So, yeah, just let y'all know. Yeah, go in here. We're going to put back some of our stuff. We don't need the ink ribbon or king plug or the valve. Now we're going to leave, we're going to go back in here, we're going to take this way, go back down the stairs, and there's two herbs down there, pick those up if you want. Alright, now there's some ammo on this guy's dead body. We're gonna kill a bunch of zombies in here. One guy chilling in this office. Some other guy's about to creep from behind you. He's dead, but now we're gonna pull out our shoddy and do some work. Bam! I was hoping it would hit both of them, but definitely killed that guy. Use our handgun to take this dude out. Okay, in this safe, the combination is 2236, and inside are some shoddy shells. Take those and also a map. Okay, there's a couple more zombies in here. We're not gonna mess with them though. This guy I thought would only take one shot and die, but. I magically stepped on his head from his chest. Obviously a game flaw, but anyway, I'm looking around, see if there's anything else in here. I believe there's not. So we shall leave. And there's a bunch more zombies in here, so pull out your shoddy and do more work. Bam! Two headshots for the price of one. Kill a few more. Yeah, I'll use one more. There we go. All right. Everyone's dead except for that guy, and we'll take him out now. All that destruction. But yeah, I'm gonna combine these herbs. I'm gonna pick up the third one. Make a giant thing of herb right now. Damn, Leon can smoke that for quite a while. Okay, there's a bunch more zombies in here too. All that ammo we've been saving up is finally being put to use. We're gonna come back in here a couple times, so yeah, just take them out. Damn! One more. And yeah, he's 
dead, I believe. Yep. Use the diamond key on this door, but we're gonna go on the other door first. It's a red herb there, but I don't think I can pick it up right now. We're gonna need the club key for that door. And here you can get a small key. Use that on one of the drawers later in the game. And I think that's all that's in here. Okay. Nope, wrong way. Okay, now we're gonna go in that door we used the diamond key on. And I fatally fucked up in this room. I accidentally used the aid spray just to get rid of it. And that, as y'all know, I cannot get a higher rank than a C now just because of using that. I completely forgot, but oh well. I'll still try to get a good time overall. But yeah, I carried too much shit so I ran back, or cut, all, cut out all the stuff running back to that chest. And I'll put the cord back and the mixed herb. And I'm gonna use that small key now, or one of the small keys, we have two of them. I can use it on this desk to get some ammo. And now I'm gonna cut out, run back to this room. And now we can get the plug. The rook plug. It's our third one. And now, run your ass out of there. <laughs> we can get this red herb now. Yeah, I was a little sloppy these last couple minutes. But, that's alright. gonna run all the way back to the chest all right now we're gonna put our plug in there and also the red herb and we're good reload the shoddy now we're going to have to use that diamond key on one more door. Do a little bit more backtracking. Alright, we can use the diamond key on this door. Now we can discard it. And surprise, motherfucker, there is a lot of zombies in this bitch. I think you should pull out the shoddy. And I wish I killed two of them right there. Because that guy's gonna bite me now. I didn't even notice that guy was crawling. Ah, getting all fucked up in here. Okay. And. Holy shit, gosh! There's six zombies in here. In this small room. On. Oh, gosh. It's like the fourth zombie to pull that move on me. But I did all that for a damn piece of film. I thought there was shotgun shells or something else in here. And it's all it is, it's film that I'm not even going to develop. And I keep looking around like an idiot trying to find more stuff. And there's nothing. Bullshit. But anyway, go inside here, pick up the herb. And I'll reload my weapons. And does that guy look familiar? Guy from the beginning. He's turned zombie on us. Ah! He's just like any other zombie though. Three or f like four or five shots and he's dead. Eh, sucks for him, but it had to be done. I don't understand how he gets bit just a few times and Leon, I'm getting bit throughout the whole game, but he doesn't turn into a zombie. But, whatever. 
And anyway, we just picked up the heart key. And I'm looking around, make sure I'm not missing anything. And some memo to Leon, welcoming him to the police department. And there's some handgun bullets in that locker. And now we're back in the main hallway. Put back the stuff we don't need. Don't need the film. I killed six zombies to get the damn film. Don't even need it. But now we're gonna use that heart key now. Actually, I forgot. I gotta run back here and get the, the cord that we just got. And I'm kind of struggling in this stupid chest trying to find it. There we go. Now go back in here. Just ignore the zombie. There's two herbs behind this desk. Two green herbs. So, yeah, just pick them up. We use the heart key, we don't need it anymore. There's two more herbs over here. And we're gonna make a, another uh, giant herb. Very herb friendly lately. And we'll pick up just this one just for the hell of it. Now we can use that cord on this thing. We'll put these shutters down so no zombies will break in later. Okay, we got some more shoddy shells. It's time to go downstairs. There's a few dogs down here, so try to dodge them. I'm not going to use my ammo on them. Even if they bite you, they don't do that much damage. But go in here first and get the red herb. There's nothing to do in this room, because it's part of uh, Claire's, cle um, Claire's quest, mostly. Alright, run by the dogs. They may get in your way. Doing pretty good right now. Yeah, oh, motherfucker. All right, pick up the green herb. And now we're gonna do a little mini thing we can do. It's not totally necessary, but you will get a lot of weapons and ammo if you do this. On these switches, just hit up, down, up, down, up. And that will make it so you can be able to have access to this door a little bit later in the game. There's also a police station map in here. But, alright, now hightail your ass out of here. Ah, damn dog. Go in here and... What the hell was that? Find out next time on my Resident Evil 2 walkthrough.